Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I know that I never dress up in my videos. I always literally have on a v-neck because I hate putting on real clothes. But I just had a baby, what, 11 days ago? So I just really didn't feel like putting on anything else. And I was too hot to put on like an actual t-shirt. So we're rolling with this, okay? So basically when I was in the postpartum room on the day after my son was born, I decided I was going to place an Ulta order and a support order for myself. And then I had like five times points on all this stuff at, um, at Ulta. So I went in store and bought a bunch of stuff. So I have like some different things that I want to try. I don't have a new foundation or concealer um, or a new blush or setting powder or a new highlight. <laughs> But I have some new stuff that I want to try out and I did use a few things on Snapchat because I promised you guys I'd film and I couldn't get around to it because we had like several doctor's appointments. But anyway, um, I'm going to use a few things today. So I already have prepped my skin, cleansed, moisturized, and I did use a new moisturizer. Now I have used this two times. It's just the box because the actual moisturizer is my bathroom. This is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. I've heard a lot of good things about them and I love their soy face cleanser. It's what I use on my chin um, because I'm oily there. But it has time release hydro patches. I was actually looking for this as a night cream. So when I was in Sephora, the lady told me that I wouldn't be taking full advantage of the, um, the time release kind of factor of it um, by using it at night, but she still said it was great. Well, I ended up going with the Belief um, Aqua, not the balm, the gel one, but the cream. And I didn't really like that one too much, so I returned it. Um, but then I got this one in an order. And so I used this as a night cream for the first time, and it wasn't really moisturizing at all. Now, I do like the fact that it really sinks into your skin really quickly. So today I use this as a moisturizer over my sunscreen. But then last night, I used it over over my Farsley Rose Gold Elixir just for some extra moisture because this is definitely not like a night cream and I just assume by the word deep hydration that it was really moisturizing. So my skin feels really nice. Um, it actually doesn't feel as moisturizing as my Mary Kay Time Wise for normal dry skin which is what I use every day. Um, I'll be doing a skincare video soon I promise but um, this feels nice. So we're going to see how this goes. I'm not like super wowed by it, but I do like how it sinks in the skin really quickly. So my skin's already ready to go. And for a primer, I'm going to be using the um, Farsely Unicorn Essence. So I know everyone's seen the YouTubers like dropping on their lips and on their face, but I'm going to use it like a normal person and just put it on my fingers. And no shade was intended by that comment, but I just don't see the point in dropping it on your face when you could just use your hands that God gave you. But anyway... Let me put my hair back. Hi. Hi. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to go with this first. Um, directions apply to clean face after moisturizer. Maybe use as a primer for makeup application. Okay, and I don't know the claims of this. Let me get the bottle. So I didn't use this before my moisturizer, like it says, but. I'm going to use it as a primer. So the claims on the box, the Innovative Solution X is a dual purpose serum which infuses the skin with beneficial skincare. While preparing it for laying moisturizer, for layering moisturizer or makeup application, it contains four superfruit extracts, rich in antioxidants and packed with vitamin C, which helps make the skin appear more visibly younger and healthy looking. First ingredient is water, so which is one of the main reasons I saw Stephanie Cole talk about it. If you guys know who Stephanie Cole is, you know she's the real deal. I'll link her channel down below along with her Instagram. Um, but that is the main reason why I didn't try it. So I'm just going to kind of, it doesn't say to shake it, but I'm just going to kind of tip it over and make sure it's mixed well. And then I'm going to drop it onto my fingers. It's pink. It supposedly smells really good. kind of smells like honeysuckle. It's got some glitter in it, which I can't show you because it's runny. But I'm just going to, it doesn't really feel like it'd be moisturizing either. So maybe it's just supposed to make your skin look glowy. I don't know. I'm going to put it on my chin too because I read some reviews on Sephora um, that said that even with the most oily skin, you can still use it as a primer. Um, so I'm going to try. And one of my friends actually said this dried her out. So a lot of mixed reviews. It doesn't smell like a, it's amazing as people say, but... I'm not really concerned about the smell. I just want to know what it's going to do to my face. So. I really don't know how this is going to work with my skin because I am pretty dry throughout here. And then I'm not using my normal moisturizer. I'm using the fresh instead. So I don't really know if it's going to be moisturizing enough. Um, but now I'm going to take the Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. So I'm just going to go ahead and spritz it with my face because I heard that the spray is really hard and I sprayed it just off to the side. It did seem a little bit more intense but not anything crazy. Um, so I really don't know how this would actually work um, by itself, especially for me and my skin type and what I like as a primer. But I mean, yeah, that's a 
serious spray. I want me to cross if my hair starts curling up back there. But it also sprays like this instead of out like, you know, maybe one more on the side because the spray is kind of uneven. So I honestly just bought this because I had five times points on all my purchases and five times points on Too Faced and also so like 10 times points, but we'll try it out and see. Okay, so foundation, I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal True Match W2 and my Fiona Styles um, number five. I only mix these two because my self tan has worn off. I did buy a new Too Faced concealer um, because I had extra points um, to like contour with one of the brightest way, but I can't find it. I haven't set my concealer yet because I want to put this on first before I do that. Um, so I'm just gonna take the shade dark and just contour a little bit. Take on my forehead. I'm just gonna use a little bit at first because I don't know what it's gonna do. And it's been so long since I've used a cream to contour. I'm going to use my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and just start blending that in. It's blending really nicely. I wasn't sure if I should get the shade down from this since I'm not self tan, um, but this one seems to be working fine. And I think I could still use it when I was tan. So, it looks really pretty and natural. And it blends really easily. So that looks really pretty. I probably could use a little bit less than I did, but I like the way it looks. And now I'm just going to take my Real Technique sponge and just blend that out a little bit before we set it down with the powder. And I'm also going to go clean that up underneath my contour, which is something I do even when I have on powder. Now just to set this, I'm going to take my Sonny Kashuk number 130 brush and this Girl On um, Terracotta Bronzer, which Omrezi uses, and she always looks amazing. I got the shade 02 Natural, and I'm just going to, and I don't know, yeah, you guys can tell it's super red in the pan, but it looks really pretty on. I use this on Snapchat, and I like it a lot. It lasts very well. It smells good. Um, it is pricey, but I think it's worth it. So, I'm going to use that just to set this down and add a little bit more color. Not that I really need more color because I'm going to be way darker than my arms. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And then using the same brush with no additional product, I'm just going to run that down the sides of my nose to contour my nose a little bit. I won't really need much blush today because I have on so much bronzer on my cheeks, but you guys know I'll go ham with the bronzer. Okay to blend out a little bit more. I really like this um, concealer to contour. It looks really good and it didn't take too long either. Okay, for blush, I don't have a new blush. Maybe I can use one that I haven't used on camera before. Let's take, oh wait, I forgot. I haven't set my concealer. Shoot. Okay, let me add a little bit more. Crap, that was the whole point in me doing that second. Oops. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more because it didn't have quite the coverage that I wanted. And then I'm going to set with a powder that's not new to me because I've been using it for a week or two now. But this is the Dermablend Transistent Powder. I really like this. Um, but I'm just going to set that with a um, disposable cosmetic sponge as always. I'm also going to take that on my chin and let that bake to help control oil throughout the day. And then also underneath my nose. Now for powder, I have been loving this Maybelline Better Skin. I tried it because of Casey Holmes. I've been watching her videos a lot lately um, and she loves it. So it actually works better, like makes your skin look more flawless and makes and still gives it that longevity throughout the day um, as far as like wear time as the MAC Pro Long Wear. And this is only like $10, $11 I think and that one's like 20 something. So I've really been loving this. And I'm using the shade 25 Nude Beige. I'm just gonna set that all over. And then for blush, I'm going to take Mac Warm Soul on my Morphe. Is it E3 or E4? I think I've been saying it wrong in my voiceovers. Um, E4. And just pop that onto the apples of my cheeks. Just to add a little bit of peachiness to it. Even though it's super bronzy. And 
then of course I check my nose just because I like the way it looks. I don't know. Like usually the Derma Blend wouldn't leave such a big white cast in my eyes. I guess I'm just dry from the primers. I don't know. Okay, now I'm going to hop off camera, do my brows, and then we're going to go in with our eyes. And I'm actually going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette from Morphe. Um, now I did play with this some on Snapchat, but I really need to actually use it with brushes and actually on my eye. Because so far, I honestly think that I might have gotten a dud. Just the way mine swatches compared to swatches that I've seen. Not even from YouTubers, but from people that I know. I, I think I might have gotten a bad one. Because mine just isn't that pigmented as far as the shimmer. So, let me do my brows and then we'll jump in with this eye look. Um, mine did not come with the little name card. So, I'm just going to point to the shades that I'm using. Card? Card. The shade card. So I'm going to take my Morphe M502 for all my all over blending as usual. And the first shade that I'm going to go in with is, we'll do this one right here. Oh, it's so stretchy. Yeah. And on Snapchat, when I first watched these shades, I was kind of talking to you guys about what was going on with my palette. Um, a lot of you guys asked me to do like a simple everyday look because there are a lot of tutorials right now on YouTube. The bronzy and copper shades are with the blue and the purple so you guys wanted like an everyday look. What are you doing? And then I'm going to take this shade right here. So far the mattes are blending really nice which I always think Morphe shadows are good so if this one's supposed to be even better. The mats are good. The shimmers are what I swatched and they just weren't. I don't know what was going on. So take those and blend that into my crease. Let's go ahead and do a lid shade. Like for example, like this shade that everyone swatches and it's like super blinding. Um, that's what it looks like on my finger. And then whenever I swatched it, maybe I just needed to dig down into them because that is really intense um, but maybe it's just that you have to really dig down to the shade one good time to get off that first layer I don't think she said that in her video when she talked about it but I'm not for sure I swatched the blue and the purple so this will be the real test to see if I just need to dig down to the shades because I swatched them a few times like that one still feels kind of hard um, but they just weren't pigmented so let's see oh yeah so that's much more pigmented than what it was but still not what it looks like on everyone else's, but a lot pig more pigmented than what it was. And that's the blue. So, I don't know. Still can't really, I don't really know. But let's go ahead and take, um, I'm trying to make this really simple, even though I kind of want to play with the colors, but I can do that on Snapchat for you guys one day if you want to see it. Snapchat family is life. Anyway. Um, let's take these two shades on a Sigma E25. Oh, you can't see. I'm taking this shade and this shade on my Sigma E25 to pop that onto the outer corner. These matte shades are super, super nice. They feel really good. Like my favorite shadow formulas for mattes are Kylie. Um, the ColourPop ones are good. Anastasia is probably like my favorite favorite. And then um, Makeup Geek's really good. And I also really like the Tartlet palette, um, the original just matte one. That's one of my favorites. But these feel really nice, just kind of in comparison to what I usually like. Just take those same two um, shades that I used on the outer V, just to put that onto my lower lash line and tie everything together. And then for my lid shade, of course, something wearable. Um, we're going to use this one. This was another one that I swatched beforehand that wasn't really that pigmented, so I'm going to swirl that in there a good bit and then just apply this onto my lid. It's pretty. Nothing crazy, so I'm just going to try to blend that in with the matte shades just using my finger and also kind of take that onto my inner corner slightly. I'm going to take this shade right here. It's kind of like a deep purple on my Morphe M432 Flat Definer. Okay, I just added a little bit of powder underneath to kind of sharpen up my cheeks because um, 
why not <laughs> okay so so far for the palette it's good let me go ahead and take take my clear brow gel from Anastasia and set my brows down and actually let's do a little inner corner highlighting I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora palette which I bought at Ulta um, I know this is like really simple but I think I want to take the shade Lyra which I've already used it's a really pretty kind of like orange pinkish shade to add a little extra pop and then I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and apply a pair of Ardell Studio FX Wispies and I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara this stuff is so good and then also a new thing that I didn't use on camera um, is this lash glue this is from the brand Thrive Cosmetics I'll put this link down below it is a little bit more expensive than the duo lash glues that I normally use um, but this is like vegan and uh, waterproof and all these other things so it makes my eyes burn a lot less when I use it and then all the net proceeds go to um, a charity I can't remember exactly what for I think it's a few different things but um, it's the brand Thrive Cosmetics so I'm gonna put that in the description box if you guys are interested in purchasing this I decided to order this because of Babs Beauty she's one of my favorite youtubers and she talks about this glue all the time for our highlights like I said I don't really have any new ones um, I can use the pinkish shade out of this Aurora palette because I know I won't be using any of the blues or the greens and silver or the purple I'll just be using these two as highlights and I'm going to use the other ones for eyeshadows because they're so, so pretty. Um, so I'm going to take my Anastasia A23 brush. I've been using this a lot lately. And I'm going to take the shape Eclipse, which is like a more pink version of the shape Lyra or Lyra. I don't know how they want you to pronounce that. So I'm just going to take that and apply it to the high points of my cheeks. And that's got a lot of glitter. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like all the glitter in it. But it's too late. We're we're too far in now. Okay, I don't want to use that anymore. Let's take Precious Petals from Wet n Wild. Um, I don't think I've ever used this on camera because I only used it a few times. But I use it in my freelance kit quite often, so I'm just gonna pop that over the top just to kind of cover that up a little bit. And then also just take that on the tip of my nose and then down the bridge of my nose slightly. For lips today, I'm going to take one of the new Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipsticks, and I have the shade Loyalist, um, because Katie or Lester Lux talked about this on her Snapchat, and she really likes it. So I'm going to line my lips first with a lip liner. I'm gonna use the shade BFF from ColourPop. Okay, so our lips are lined, and now I'm just gonna take the shade. I'll swatch it on the back of my hand first. But it's really pretty. The formula is kind of sticky. Um, it's just kind of different. And I also did buy a new, I might just do a haul video. You guys want to see that because I have two more orders coming in too. Um, but I also ordered the shade Beach Babe from Tarte. And they look really similar because I swatched them side by side on Snapchat when I was doing a little haul for you guys. So the shade Loyalist is a little bit more pink and this one has a little more brown in it. But that is one of the Tarte um, what is it called? Like Rainforest or Color Splash lipsticks in the shade Beach Babe. So now let's go ahead and put this on. I'm going to try to actually be in frame because I'm always messing out when I do my lipstick. So this is what the applicator looks like as well. Um, this is kind of similar to the Smashbox ones except for theirs like flip back and it was terrible. I hated that applicator. Um, so this one's a lot easier to work with even though I do prefer just a regular doe foot. And I usually don't do a lip liner with um, liquid lipsticks or like lip creams, but I do want that liner to show through a little bit. So, that is the shade. Such a pretty nude pink. I love it. And then as far as setting sprays or anything else, make sure I didn't forget anything because I haven't done my makeup as consistently lately, so I feel like I'm forgetting everything. Okay, so I'm going to use this instead of the Fix Plus just to like act as a refresher to see if it does make me more glowy because um, this primer really isn't for me. I'll probably never use it again um, just because I like a little bit more glow to my skin. Um, and I just don't really feel like it did much other than the fact that it's not making me more moisturized. I don't know, but that's really... Oh, my baby's... 
Hold on, let's go get Graham. So I did film, well, he's trying to eat my arm. I did film a vlog, like the last few weeks of my pregnancy. Anyway, um, I did film a vlog the last few weeks of my pregnancy, and then I did film a little bit while I was in the hospital. Um, having him because I was induced. His due date was July 10th. He came on July 14th. So um, I will upload that. I'm no vlogger by any means and I'll probably never vlog again but I thought you guys don't want to see it because I got a lot of questions about my pregnancy and you guys wanted more of my like pregnancy journey. So, so I will upload that soon. You guys haven't seen him yet unless you follow me on Snapchat. But he's such a good little sleeper and Grayson got a bad haircut. You don't know that either unless you follow me on Snapchat. Snapchat is where I'm the most, I guess you can say it's my outlet. It's where I'm the most active. Facebook, not really my outlet. Instagram, I post to let you guys know when I upload and little things like that. But Snapchat's my place. So if you guys want to follow me there, it's always linked in the description box. But he's a super good baby. He wakes up once or twice at night and then goes right back to sleep. And he's just amazing. He sleeps a lot during the day too because his bilirubin levels are elevated. So... We're trying to get that out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set with this spray too. Um, I hope it doesn't mess my makeup up because because the mist is so hard. I don't know how you'd say that. Because it sprays so hard, but we'll see. Oh. Just making sure you didn't give him the baby. So, I mean, my skin looks really nice as far as like the primer and then the moisturizer oh lord see can you see that um but so far everything looks really good i like the palette I like the slip color um my skin feels really nice but for like my final thoughts if like something changes if like my opinion changes throughout the day i'm gonna leave like a little update in the description box um just so you guys can be in the loop so that completes this video <laughs> i can't believe i'm really wearing this ratchet tank top and a nursing bra but it is what it is and let me know if you guys have any other future video suggestions in the comments down below thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye sweet boy so sweet he's so red <laughs> say hello world i'm graham so bright on my little shrub. Say hello. It's so bright in here, huh? Oh goodness. Oh goodness. It's so sweet, sweet, sweet.